Hello all. In this video we shall see the analog input output of uh, S1 XBs. We make use of two S1 Pro XBs and a XCTU. Set the transmit side XB uh, DL destination address is 11 and MY source address is 10. This DL is the source address of the second XB. Receive side XB MY is 11 and DL is uh, 10. That is source address and uh, uh, destination address should be uh, reverse. The transmit side XB physical pin 20 is set as analog input. DIO0 is set to hex 2 which uh, refers to analog input and IR sample rate to 20 millisecond. Hex value is 14. And the receive side XB we make use of uh, PWM0 physical pin 6 uh, set that to hex 2 which refers to PWM output and uh, IO line pausing IA IO input address is set to 10 which is the my address of transmit click right to record the changes this is the transmit side XB settings we are making use of an XB adapter so that we can easily place the XB on the breadboard this, uh, this XB adapter converts XB connections to a 20 pin IC. Place the S1 XB onto the XB adapter. Take care that pin 1 and uh, pin 1 matches VCC and pin 10 goes to ground. Pin 1 is connected to the positive rail. Pin 10 is connected to the negative rail. This physical pin 20 is set as analog input. The AT command is ATD0 that is set to hex2. Hex2 is for analog input. And ATIR input sampling rate is set at hex14 that is 20 millisecond. At pin 20 we are connecting a 10k potentiometer. The variable arm of uh, center arm of uh, potentiometer is connected to pin 20. One end of uh, potentiometer is connected to positive rail and the other end to the ground. And V reference, that is a pin 14, is connected to the positive rail. This gives XB a reference for what voltage an analog sensor is working. This connection is very important for uh, analog inputs. V reference. This is the transmit side setting. For power source, we are making use of two AA cells connected in a socket. Connect the positive pin to the positive rail and negative to the negative rail. This is the transmit side setup. Now we shall see the uh, receive side setup. The pad XB S1 module is placed on the XB adapter at the receive side. Pin 1 is connected to positive rail and pin 10 is connected to the negative rail. We make use of the PWM function of XB. This PWM pulse width modulation acts like a digital to analog converter to output an analog signal. This X1 XB has got two PWM outputs. We are making use of pin 6 that is PWM 0. Connect an LED uh, to P pin 6. Pin 6 is the PWM 0. Long lead of LED is connected to pin 6 and short lead to ground. Connect the battery source. This is the positive rail. This is the negative rail. This is a simple setup of uh, at receiver side. This is the transmit side. Now if you vary the potentiometer at uh, transmit, the brightness of the LED at receiver changes according to the analog input of the transmitter. Thank you for watching.